hello everyone how you all are doing so in today's video i'm going to show you all how i do my makeup on white kurta i've already moisturized my face using the uh, babe johnson's baby cream and now i'm using lacme as absolute mousse foundation all over my face and my neck as well i really love this foundation um, it has a mousse and very soft texture it is very suitable for everyday use I don't really use foundation or any kind of CC or BB cream on everyday basis but if you are a person who likes to use some kind of light base makeup on your face for everyday then you can go for such mousse foundation or BB cream or CC cream so here I am applying the foundation all over my face around my mouth and I will also apply the foundation on my eyelid area I don't have any kind of uh, darkness or redness around my uh, on my face so this foundation is able to give me little bit of coverage as you can see the darkness on my eyelid is completely gone now so if you skin like me then you can use this foundation even during some party or marriage function which I like to do I don't use uh, high coverage foundation uh, I only use this kind of uh, little bit of very smooth and soft textured mousse foundation which i am doing right now i applied it all over my face and neck and i am also applying it around my mouth so my foundation is done i won't use any more foundation or any concealer even i am using making this look without any concealer or high coverage foundation after foundation i am going to use a face powder just to set my base a little bit and the face powder which i am using here is lacme absolute dry and wet compact in the shade ivory fair this is one of my favorite face powder and Although mousse foundation doesn't need to be set with uh, face powder but I'm using one because uh, I tend to get uh, oily around my t-zone area and after the foundation comes my favorite fast part that is the kajal. Kajal which I'm here using here is Shambor kajal. You can see how pigmented and how dark it is. I bought this kajal before lockdown in March and since then i'm in love with this kajal I, i've used very less of this you can see how pigmented and how jet black this kajal is i am a kajal lover i love uh, making thick kajal line on my lower lash line and i think it's even suits my eye type i don't use thick liner because i have hooded eyes as you can see but i just use like to use uh, thick kajal on my lower lash line so to make my kajal thicker i'm going to use lacme insta liner which you can see on screen i'm going to line my lower lash line with this very thinly i'm see i'm removing the excess part from the brush and i'm lining my la lower lash line first i will line it thinly i'm a habitual of doing my kajal and my liner like this so i i don't really hesitate in doing it if you are new make sure you are very careful otherwise you will tend to create very thick line and even the eyeliner can go inside your eye your eye which is not safe so you can clearly see the difference i always do my kajal like this only whenever i'm stepping out of my house or whenever i need to apply a thick kajal so my kajal is almost done you can see i'm lining the other eye as well i line my both the lines very fastly because i i'm habitual of doing so since many many days but uh, i will advise you people to be very careful while uh, doing your kajal like this if you are applying a uh, eyeliner on your lower lash line after kajal i'm going to uh, line my upper lash line with the same eyeliner same lacme insta liner this is very black eyeliner but it is not a very you know like a long lasting eyeliner it tends to come out very easily but uh, it it comes it is under budget it comes just for 110 or 120 rupees so it's very affordable for all of us and it it has a jet black color so i like to apply it so you can see i am very thinly lining my upper lash line as i have hooded eyes and thick kajal doesn't suits my eye type 
after the kajal and eyeliner is done i'm go i'm applying here a nude lip color the lipstick which i'm using is lakme absolute matte melt liquid lip color in the shade 14 nude hit before applying any liquid lipstick i generally moisturize my lip with by using a vaseline or a um, lip balm although i don't have uh, any problem with uh, chapped lips or uh, pigmented lips still i apply a vaseline because liquid lipstick tends to make our lip dry and if i apply any liquid lipstick without using a vaseline then my lips also becomes very very dry so this is a very beautiful nude shade but in camera it's looking rusty orangish kind of color i don't know why so my makeup is almost done i'm just you going to wear this beautiful stud earrings in the color sky blue initially i wanted to wear a oxidized earring but then i thought of giving some color to my outfit as my kurta is white so i thought of adding some color by using a colorful earring so my jewelry is done my makeup is done now i'm just going to remove my hairband and give my hair a good combing i will comb my hair detangle my hair and i will give my hair a side parting i always side part my hair like so i'm doing here while combing my hair i realized that i completely forget to fill my eyebrows how stupid of me i should have done that earlier only but no problem i'm going to do it now i'm using the same chamber kajal and my angular color bar brush to fill my eyebrows i've told you people earlier also that due to lockdown i i'm not able to buy a new eyebrow pencil i don't have access to any shops or malls as soon as i will get access to online shopping i will uh, book a one eyebrow pencil for myself i always fill my eyebrow with black color because i feel black suits me better than brown shade as i have dark color eyebrow hair i learned filling eyebrows from youtube few years ago i faced severe hair loss even i lost my eyebrow and eyelashes and since then i uh, learned using eyebrow filling by seeing tutorials on youtube so i'm filling my eyebrows very very quickly in here you can see and now i'm done i'm just going to add an extra thing that is the bindi which is the mark of this uh, look whenever i wear a white kurta i like to apply one thin one small white, black bindi like you can see i apply the bindi just in the middle of my eyebrows and my look is complete the kurta which i am wearing here is a beautiful white chicken curry kurta i have a love for this kind of hand embroidery thing i hope you people liked my video my look is complete please like subscribe and share my videos with your friends and family keep loving me back keep supporting love you all